give you all glory, Lord Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There is a way of escape for all problems that we all have. The Lord says through this passage, through the word of God, no testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So if you have a problem, if you have a difficulty, if you have an ordeal, there is a way of escape from it. God has already planned a way of escape from your problem. Right now, there are many who are looking to Jesus, thinking that there is no way of escape from this problem that I endure or that I have. That is wrong. The Lord says through the Holy Spirit speaks to us there is a way out. There is a way of escape. There is an exit. God will not allow anything in our life. Though God has not given anything wrong in our life, God allows certain things because of the demand of the devil. With a legal demand, he just demands to inflict pain upon us. God allows it. But when God allows, there is a way out in it. There is a way of escape in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes the children play some diagrams enter into one place and go in the here and here and there and there and there and there and finally come out so the programmer of that chart already made one way which is out of the diagram the entry is there and from there or there are many entries but there is only one way out the smartest one will find it out and gets the victory. In the same way, those who are with Jesus right now, they are very smart because Jesus is very smart. And he will help you to come out of your present problem. I welcome each and every one of you to be the part of this holy hour. I welcome you all people from Australia. And all brothers and sisters from Africa. And all our brethren from South and North America. And all those who are from Europe and Asia, Oceania. I welcome each and every one of you to be with the Lord right now. And during this holy hour, the Lord is going to guide you and lead you and bring you out of your problem. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though right now you are in between the teeth of the lions and the lion is about to devour you, the good shepherd comes and opens the mouth of the lion and bring you out from the teeth of the lion. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. First Samuel chapter 17 verse 36. David said, the anointing which is in me, the power of God that is in me, if any lion or wild beast taking my lamb and just try to devour it, what I am going to do it? Verse 35 says, I just opened the mouth of the lion and I would catch it by the jaw then strike it down and kill it but i rescuing in the lamb from its mouth if you are being crushed down by cancer covid 19 incurable diseases diabetes 
surrounded by enemies surrounded by demons surrounded by problems after problems right now jesus is the good shepherd making his life in danger rushing to the spot bringing out you and i of the problem praise the lord praise the lord none of you will be crushed down i give you this assurance in the name of jesus is the good shepherd praise the lord praise the lord you will come out of your sickness you will come out of your tears you will come out of your family problems you will come out of the financial crisis you will come out of the sickness that you have now you will come out of this urinary infection you will come out of this infection in your blood you will come out of this crisis that you face right now because jesus is alive Jesus is alive. Amen. John Amen. chapter 14 verse 19. I am alive so that you also will live. We all will live because he is alive. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who told you that? Which medical report told you that your days are counted? It is not counted. It is accounted. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. You and I are going to be set free from the problems and difficulties right now by Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe? Yes. yes. How many of you believe? Lift up your hand. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, confess that faith you will be saved from the present situation. Come brothers and sisters and adore the Lord. and worship Jesus he is able to rescue you he is able to bring you out from your present crisis there are 11 families going to have a break in their marriage the lord says fear not you believe in me your family will not be disintegrated acts 16:31 believe in me I will save your family. I will save your marriage. I will go to an extent to save your marriage. Fear not. 11 people who are crying bitterly because they have a crisis and your family is going to be separated and you have a fear of divorce or annulment or separation but the Lord says believe in me. your family is going to become heaven on earth amen 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus brothers and sisters confess our faith in christ jesus what is that faith christ is sufficient for me christ is sufficient for all my needs all my needs Christ is sufficient for me. Amen. Amen. Who is sufficient for me? Christ. Is Jesus. there any insufficiency in Jesus? No. If you are with Jesus, there is no insufficiency in you and in me. If I am with the sufficiency, who is that sufficiency? Jesus. Christ Jesus has full of sufficiency. He is sufficient for all needs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15 says in all these matters my Christ is sufficient for me and for all my needs Jesus is sufficient. Jesus is sufficient for your healing. We are the aroma of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. And verse 16 says and he is sufficient for me. This aroma is with me from like death to life and who is sufficient for these things in my life who is my aroma jesus, jesus is christ jesus christ right now jesus is moving all over the world he has come to your village he is he has come to your town he has come to your nation brother and sister he has entered into your house There is a sweet fragrance in your house right now. Sweet fragrance in your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Once a Muslim woman in Pakistan, Bilkul Sheikh had a dream. 
a perfume seller entered into her room and that perfume seller opened lot of bottles and opened one precious bottle the room was filled with the sweet fragrance finally she started reading the word of god then she came to know that the second corinthians chapter 2 words 15 is fulfilled in her room jesus went into her room like a perfume seller in a dream and he opened the bottle and the sweet perfume spread the sweet fragrance spread everywhere that is the knowledge of jesus that is the knowledge about jesus that is sweet fragrance right now thousands of people experience the smell of jesus praise the lord praise the lord and bilkul sheikh accepted jesus christ as her lord and savior in her country she could not profess it she cannot practice it she cannot confess it so she left to uk and she lived there praise the lord praise the this lord. i read in her book i dare to call him father thank you lord now that sweet fragrance spread everywhere 17 cancer patients right now are being healed thank you jesus 17 cancer patient is being lord. healed jesus. lord says agustin biju mark lenal fear not the lord is going to touch you during this adoration and set you free from your crucial problems amen amen let us make the sign of the cross on our body in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen first of all i tell you fear not 366 times bible says fear not there is only one reason behind it fear not because jesus is alive and you also will live with him and he is alive and he is here with us and he is ready to come along with us that is the reason we have no fear fear not even though there are some people ready to kill you but fear not they cannot touch your soul and you will come back to this world with your body at the time of second coming of jesus fear not because of the people who are ready to kill you and sacrifice you there are people who are ready to kill christians disciples of jesus why it is so they do not know who is god almighty there is only one god in all religions there is only one god they do not know their own god and they are thinking that killing the christians and disciples of jesus is a sacrifice to their god God doesn't need a human sacrifice. God said to Abraham, "Do not kill your son, kill the ra- lamb and offer a sacrifice." John chapter 16 verse 2. Jesus said, "My children, time comes when people think that to kill you is a sacrifice and a worship to their God." ignorance ignorance killing a person killing a person belong to another religion or killing our brother or sister this is called cainism cainism spirit of cain entered into some people they wanted to kill their brother abel but that blood of abel cries out for justice now the innocent blood of jesus apply it on your forehead that blood speaks for you that blood speaks for you that blood speaks to you what is that blood speaks for you you are a child of god by the blood of jesus hebrews 12:24 the blood speaks better for you you are a child of god by the blood of jesus The blood of Abel cries out for justice but blood of Jesus cries out for you you are a just man justifies you the blood 
makes you free from your sins. Amen. 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 And this blood speaks to you. 1st John 1st John chapter 1 verse 7. This blood speaks to you. You are freed from sin. By the blood of Jesus, you are cleansed from all your sins. Let us pray together right now. Jesus 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 your blood your blood that is on my forehead that is on my forehead speaks for me speaks for me i am innocent i am innocent that blood speaks to me that blood speaks to my me my sins are forgiven my sins are forgiven that blood speaks to me that blood speaks to me as it spoke to longinus as it spoke to longinus i say it is restored i say it is restored salvation is guaranteed salvation is guaranteed lift up your hands like this look to this crucifix as i invite you today to be with jesus during this holy hour the lord is going to show you a way out of your present struggle how many of you have a struggle I can see in my vision many hands going up in Australia, Africa, America, Europe, Asia, Oceania. I can see many of the hands going up. Right now, Jesus the way shows you the way how to come out of it. Just after one hour, you will see the salvation in your hand. as simon said dismiss your servant right now because i have seen the salvation right now you will see the salvation today today salvation jesus is in you by your faith he lives in your heart ephesians chapter 3 verse 17 by faith christ is alive in your heart pray together with the simon dismiss your servant from all the problems right now because i have seen my god in my heart praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah fear not looking to your problems looking around fear not surrounded by darkness fear not surrounded by the valley of death fear not from the brim of the death the lord is going to bring you out to the shore of life let us begin this chaplet together with the jesus to have redemption and salvation put all your intentions on this altar in the name of jesus i take all the intentions from this chat box and i bless this chat box right now i bless all mails that we have received through email intentions through email sms whatsapp telephone conversation with or uh, counseling with our covid prayer warriors regular mail all these intentions that i take and place on this altar and i pray that these intentions are to be transformed for the glory of god and for your favor The Lord may show you the way out. The Lord may show you the way out of your problems. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 God will not allow any problems or any sickness in your life without having a remedy in it. Without having a remedy in it. Without having a remedy in it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pro- provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. You may be able to overcome it. You may be able to manage it. Right now, that power is coming upon you. Through that divine revelation, you are going to find out the way out. The way of escape is going to be revealed during this holy hour. A reverend sister, Riti, given a wonderful testimony. She had been suffering of uterine cancer, operated. 17 limb nodes in her uh, body, affected. 
but she was online she heard one message configure your life and your suffering configure all your illness with the cross of jesus and praying till all your reports come favorable for you yesterday i got my medical report 17 limb nodes have become negative praise the lord thank you praise the lord praise only lord. precautionary thank treatment you, needed you, brother sister fear not christ is alive he is not here in the tomb but he is there in your heart matthew 28 6 he is not here don't search him among the dead and among the deadly things he is raised he is in you opening prayer you as pied jesus, jesus but the, the source of life that for, for the soul so and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world o fount of life and father of divine mercy and develop the whole world and empty yourself out of bonus o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus has a found an of mercy for us i trust in you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Just lift up our hands and confess our faith Romans 10 9 says when you confess your faith loudly you are saved you are rescued from your present problem I believe in God the Father, Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only, only son our lord he was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and, and is seated at the right hand of the God father the almighty from, from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those, those of, of the, the whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world praise the lord praise, praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah now the lord shows you the way how to come out of your struggle that is a revelation that revelation comes to you you will conquer your problems daily you and i have thousands of issues and problems but daily the lord trained us how to overcome it first john chapter 5 verse 5 
those who want to be successful those who want to overcome everything the bible says who is it that conquers the world and the problems in the world who will conquer it the one who believes that jesus is son of god amen amen do you believe that this jesus who is present in the sacrament he is son of god yes. yes do you believe yes then right now the word of god says the word of god says and this power of the word of god comes to you and it moves all over the world like a flashing light you will conquer it the problem right now all the more we are conquerors in christ jesus only one thing that who is jesus jesus is son of god colossians 1:15 says jesus is a true image of god likeness and image of god in human form and we are created in the likeness and image of jesus christ that was the shape of adam and eve hallelujah hallelujah he is a image of invisible god nobody has seen god even abraham or moses they heard the sound of god even a flash of the back of god not nobody has seen god as jesus said nobody has seen god he is a image of invisible god and uh, everything is created for him and by him verse 16 says everything is created through him with him in him and for him all dominions all rulers all powers everything jesus is all the more powerful amen, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah in the name of jesus i just curse your disease in your body the word of god now moves very fast the light as we think is the fastest the fast moving thing is light but i say word of god is moving faster than light when i preach the word of god from this pulpit he reaches australia america africa Asia, Oceania and Europe within no time. And the miracles and healings happened. One brother was sitting on the wheelchair in Nigeria. When uh, the cross is being raised up from this altar and just commanded, and those who are in the wheelchair, get out of your wheelchair and walk. He walked. After seven years of his sitting on the wheelchair, so the word of god travels faster than light praise the lord praise the lord because god is light and word of god is light psalm 119 verse 105 says the word of god is light to my feet lamp to my feet and light to my path so the word of god travels faster than light einstein said light is moving very fast light years but compared to the word of god light is very slow moving right now the lord says you will conquer your present problem in the name of jesus i pray over this brother and sister who have been afflicted with serious problems and terrible problems jesus may give you a gift or revelation right now gift or revelation and gives you the ways and means how to come out of it thousands of people have received insight and wisdom what to do next to solve your issue amen, amen. lift up our hands and pray eternal father, father i offer you, you the body, body and blood, blood. soul and divinity of your dearly beloved sons our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us, on us and, and on, on the, the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on, on us and on, on the, the whole, whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on, on us and on, on the, the whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on, on us and on, on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world brothers sisters just to configure your illness your suffering your sorrows and your tears with the passion of christ with the suffering of jesus mother char says in catechism book article 2001505 catechism book article 1505 says the believer just to configure his or her sufferings and tears and sorrows and daily burden to the suffering of jesus that suffering will be taken away from that particular person and become the part of the suffering of jesus and the suffering of jesus was redemption salvation forgiveness of sins and finally they will be totally freed and share the power of resurrection the power of resurrection is working in you right now in you and in me the power of resurrection that is the holy spirit my which jesus said i have conquered the problems ahead of you i have conquered it then with me you will get the good result of my conquering John 16:33 In this world you will have a struggle but listen I have conquered the world and everything in the world in this world there is sickness in his kingdom there is no sickness no angel is sick and suffering in heaven and jesus taught us to pray let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven praise the lord praise the lord a heavenly life is possible in this world a life as if we are in heaven is possible on earth your will be done on earth as it is in heaven somebody having hip degeneration right now that person is being healed your medicines are going to work out well and you will have a remedy of your hip degeneration praise the lord amen amen and also you have some infection somebody having been suffering of infection in the bone bones that infection in the marrow or in the bone is being healed right now because first john chapter 4 verse 4 says the one who is in you is greater than one who is outside lift up our hands and pray Eternal Father, Father I offer Lord, you the body and blood the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our Lord Jesus Lord Christ, Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Right now, the Lord who is inside gives you the message and he will bring you out together with him of all the problems that you have. Because the one who is inside is guiding you and me. And also the word of God comes to our darkness and everything is going to be cleared. Nothing is going to be ambiguous in your life. Nothing is going to be in oblivion. But everything is going to be visible by the light of the word of God. Yesterday somebody came from Qatar and told me all my medical reports are clear but I am not able to walk. I am not able to sit and I am just being part of this adoration every day from Qatar. God, I told her mind and cast out that spirit of infirmity from your body. She did it. Marched like a soldier and went home. Today we have a testimony. Number eight. A person who has been suffering with full of infirmities. Sickness after sickness. She heard her name is called out from this pulpit. Simran, your sickness and spirit of infirmity left your body. That day she is healed of multitude of her sickness. Praise the Lord. One more message she received. Your prayers are answered. And she applied the oil on her sickness. Attend logos, adoration every day. Problem is over. As I invited you today, those who have been afflicted with various problems, the Lord is going to show you the way out, the way of escape. All of you will have that way of escape. Without having that way of escape, without having that exit, the programmer or the one who gives it or allows it will not provide it. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All glory and honor to Jesus. Let us lift up our hands and pray together the fourth record of the chaplet in which we are praying for the healing of all incurable diseases. Eternal Father, Father I offer, offer you the, the body, body and blood, blood soul, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, son our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, in atonement for our sins and, sins and those of, of the whole world, world by for his wounds, by his wounds you are healed. By his stripes you are made well. Isaiah 53 5. By his wounds you are healed. 1 Peter 2 24. When I will be lifted up, I will attract all people towards me. John 3 14. Those who look at me will be saved from all deadly poisons in their body. Deadly things in their body will be removed. As Jesus said, I will be lifted up. Look to this crucifix. Touch the crucifix right now. Matthew 14, 36. Those who touched him, all of them were healed. And touched the blessed sacrament. This is real Jesus. The blessed sacrament is real Jesus. Really, truly, substantially Jesus present in this sacrament. He is present in this sacrament. Touch him now. Place that hand on your sickness. Make a sign of the cross on that sickness. Give a command. Pray together. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. Bind I bind you. And cast you out. Cast spirit you. of infirmity. Spirit of infirmity. From my body, from my body I, sent I sent to you to the feet of Jesus. Feet of Jesus. Be, bound there Be bound there eternally. eternally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 4 39. Jesus rebuked the spirit of fever. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of COVID 19, spirit of cancer, spirit of wheezing, spirit of stomach ailment, spirit of mental diseases. Spirit of schizophrenia, the spirit of sickness and infirmities, as Jesus rebuked the spirit of fever. Let it be healed right now. Where you place to the sign of the cross, 
believe that the lord has taken it away because he rebuked it Amen. jesus rebuked it let us pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us, us and, and on, on the, the whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on, on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world the fifth decade of the chaplet that we dedicate for powerful and mighty anointing by faith you are going to receive five messianic blessings in this book i have mentioned about four gifts messianic gifts ministry gifts or ephesian gifts roman gifts or talents charismatic gifts or corinthian gifts and all these four gifts are from jesus and those who have faith in jesus and all of them share messianic gifts they are called healing deliverance tongue and freedom from poison and taking snakes in their hands you are going to have these five messianic blessings right now all disciples of jesus will have it mark chapter 16 verse 17 all those who believe in him will have these signs these gifts accompany them signs will accompany those who believe so all believers irrespective of their caste creed and religion will have messianic blessing first one is the healing Jesus initially shared his power of healing with his 12 apostles Matthew 10 verse 8 You have received it freely freely give cast out demons heal the sick raise the dead cleanse the lepers You have received it without payment without payment give This is only for apostles Then Mark chapter 16 verse 17 this is released for all believers few months ago we got a testimony from goa a small child received the hands blessed from this pulpit went to the nearest house where a small little girl was suffering of high fever this boy put his both hand on her and uh, that family is a hindu family and uh, this boy went and placed his hand on that little girl and prayed because i believe in jesus and he prayed we got the testimony instantaneously that girl is freed from fever unknown disease left her body all believers have a gift to healing place your hand on your sickness right now you have the gift of healing believers will have these signs make the sign of the, the cross on your sickness and extend your hands towards this sanctuary i bless your both hands right now receive the gift of healing when you place your hand in the name of jesus let the healing power of jesus overflow to that sick person and let jesus heal them as it is promised the second messianic gift that you are going to receive when we pray together the fifth decade of the chaplet deliverance matthew 10 8 initially the deliverance given to apostles that power given to apostles after the resurrection jesus given that gift to all believers for that you have to use this prayer book page 103 
the church approves this prayer through imri matur you do binding casting out prayer and send them to the feet of jesus according to hebrews chapter 10 verse 12 he is waiting to get all the demons under his feet christ is just waiting to get all the hebrews chapter 10 verse 13 he is waiting to get all the demons under his feet waiting until all his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet send them to the feet of jesus use the binding and casting out prayer so second messianic gift is operating from you right now third one gift of tongue catechism book article 2003 god has given some believers praying in tongues romans 8:26 unknown and unstudied non syllable language is a gift or tongue but it is very powerful it's an intercession first corinthians chapter 12 30 so some of them have this tongue speaking in tongues and interpret it so that is a common gift to all believers then the fourth messianic blessing what is deadly in you that will be cancelled by faith and you will take snakes in your hand what is that what is all coming against from the animals from the rat from the snakes from the bacteria from the virus from the microbes what all things are coming against you you will overcome it that's why you will take snakes in your hand you will manage ferocious animals as david rushed to the lion opened the mouth and pull out his sheep his lamb from the teeth of the lion the fifth decade of the chaplet you and i are going to receive powerful anointing especially the messianic blessing is going to be shared with you right now lift up our hands and pray together eternal father, father i offer you, you the body and blood and soul and, and divinity, divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus, jesus christ, christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah and those who have different problems and thinking that there is no way out going to have a way out if you have a special prayer intention please kneel down and look to this crucifix and look to this cross and pray that the lord almighty going to give you the answer of your prayers look to this crucifix and look to the blessed sacrament offer your special prayer intention and pray right now i pray over your prayers and your intentions are going to be a be transformed in the name of jesus i bless your special prayer intention right now let all these intentions be transformed for you are favor and for the glory of god savia the lord calls your name and answers your prayers judy navel roshan navin and gida and dominic and gina joyce shema and to selin All your prayers are going to be answered and the Lord says you are blessed. The Lord gives you special grace right now and giving you a special insight how to solve your issues and problems. Many of you are getting gift of prayer and your family is going to become house house of prayer and all those who are online right now going to experience Mark 11:17 my house shall be called the prayer house for all nations. if one person come from one nation 
that blessing which was upon abraham is going to come upon you in fulfillment you are through you the nation is going to be blessed and through you the whole nation is going to be blessed and through you the family is being blessed through your faith in christ jesus the lord is touching and blessing everyone in your family arnold and linda june roslin regina and dale your prayers are being answered and your families are being blessed and the lord gives gift of tears for many that's an external sign that your prayers are being answered the lord calls the name thomas and sarah crisbel and remedius anabel nathan and charmin nadine douglas sabrina and asunda all your prayers are being answered and the lord says you are getting special gifts messianic gifts being increased in you in the name of jesus i bless your special prayer intentions let all these prayers be transformed for the greater glory of god amen amen all of you may lift up your hands and look to this blessed sacrament When you look to Jesus Psalm 37 verse 4 says your face radiant with the light of Christ And the Lord says delight in the Lord the desires of your heart will be fulfilled all the desires of your heart is fulfilled delight in the presence of the Lord Psalm 34 5 says your face is shining because the Lord says look at him be radiant your faces shall never be ashamed those who have some shame that is shame is going to turn into fame if you have a trial you are going to have a triumph if you have a test today that is going to become a testimony tomorrow if you have a sorrow right now you will have a joy instead of sorrow and I say a chapter 63 words 3 says I will anoint you with the oil of gladness right now the lord gives you the oil of gladness Praise the lord Praise the lord Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Praise you Jesus Praise you Jesus Thank you lord Thank you lord Praise you lord Praise you lord Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you lord Thank you lord I say a chapter 62 words 3 says wonderful miracles are being happened when you look to jesus and also 61 verse 3 also giving uh, the same message the lord provide you everything the lord gives you the oil of gladness and the mantle of praise a drooping faith or spirit is going to become very strong Let us lift up our hands and pray Holy God Holy, Holy mighty, mighty one Holy mortal, mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world Holy, Holy God Holy, Holy mighty one Holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world Holy God Holy mighty one Holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world closing prayer eternal god, god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despond nor become despondent but with a great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen